Hey YouTube, so today we're making something extremely decadent using Nutella. Once again, I remember I made a video a couple of months ago where it was a, a Nutella brown butter salty kind of cookie. Everyone loved it, so this time I'm going to make it a bit different. I posted a, a, a question on my Facebook, facebook.com slash back inside. I asked a lot of questions there to see what kind of recipes I should come up with. And someone said to use Nutella, but in a different way, in French toast. So I'm going to do it with some baguette, and I'm going to change it up a little and make it more interesting. I'm sure you guys are going to love it. So first to start off with the bread, you want something um, that's crunchy, a little porous, um, a little bit stale. I'm going to use baguette. If you want, it's better to use loaves, a bit harder, uh, with a harder crust, but this is fine as well. So I'm just going to cut this here, and then I'm going to cut this in two, and these in two as well, and that should give us four perfect pieces. Next, I'm just going to make a really quick custard, so I'm just going to use two large free-range organic eggs here. Now this is really the base of your French toast. This is where it's going to get nice and pretty. I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil, maybe one teaspoon of it inside, and then just a pinch of salt to bring it all together, and I'm going to give it a good whisk. And then to this, I'm just going to add about three-fourths of a cup of almond milk. I'm using chocolate almond here. It gives that a good mix. Perfect. Now while I get my pot nice and hot for the cooking, I'm just going to take this bread. I'm going to soak it one side one minute and then flip it over and soak it again for another minute. Now we're just going to cook down some bacon to go perfectly with our French toast. On this same pot where I cooked um, the bacon, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of butter and then I'm going to add my bread face down. So I've got three fourths of a, of a cup here of almond milk right there and to that I'm going to add about um, one or two tablespoons of Nutella, about two tablespoons. I'm going to put right in there and I'm going to let that melt properly. So now that everything is basically ready, I'm just going to very simply enough take my um, French toast, you see how it's nice and caramelized on both sides, it's exactly what we wanted. I'm going to put that on both sides here just as so. It's nice and crunchy. Now, um, I'm just going to take some mascarpone, which is an Italian white cheese of sorts um, that goes perfectly with these kinds of dishes. So I'm just going to put that onto our first French toast here. Next, I'm just going to take um, a little bit of strawberries that we have here. I'm going to put that on top just as so. To this, we're going to add the crunchy bits of bacon that we cooked a while ago as well that we're just going to put right on top, inside, basically wherever you want them to go. The crunchiness, the saltiness will just go with everything perfectly. And then last but not least, we're just going to add our chocolate right on top, a little bit everywhere, and then you basically have your really crazy decadent Nutella strawberry French toast right there.